can be topped with a sauteed portobello mushroom. Give another layer of mushroom flavor. And the only thing we need to do the mushroom, this is nice and clean. You can brush it off with a, uh, a damp cloth if you like to get any loose dirt on there. But we're going to take the stem out. This particular dish, we're going to leave the gills in. There's a lot of dishes that if you have the gills in there, they blacken up the sauce. They've got a great earthy flavor, but if it's a, a white sauce or a light dish, you don't want those gills out of there. So we're going to pop this stem out. We're going to coat it with a little olive oil on both sides. We're going to season it with salt. We're going to season it with salt. Saute that up. So now we got our saute pan nice and hot. We're going to take the portobello mushroom cap and put it gill side down. And let it saute. We'll let it go a couple minutes on each side until it's nice and tender. We'll flip it and then we'll take that and finish our pasta. While the portobello is cooking, you want to modify, you want to add a couple ingredients to your base to make pasta sauce. We have the base in here with all the uh, seasoning and sage. It finished up. It's nice and flavorful. We're going to add about a Cup and a, about a half a cup to this, we're going to add about a half a cup of our reserved pasta water, water that we cooked the pasta in. It's already got starch in it, so it'll make a nice thickening ingredient to this sauce as we toss it over the pasta. So I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of the Parmesan cheese, grated cheese in here, and that's going to melt and add to thicken the sauce a little bit. Turn this portobello over, soften up the other side, we have nice tender gills here, and then we'll need to cook it until it is completely tender all the way through. Pasta sauce is coming together. So we take the sauce, once it's come together, we're going to toss it over the warm pasta. See, this is not a real loose sauce. It's got nice chunky mushrooms, nice pasta. And we're going to top this with our portobello. So we got portobello done now. We're going to land that here on our cutting board, nice and tender on both sides. We'll take some of our pasta that we finished, we'll plate the pasta. See, it's more of a chunky pasta, not a creamy, saucy pasta, and everything in there is really good stuff for you. Okay. Portobello. Wow, it really smells good right here. I can smell all the flavors coming off the portobello. Get a couple of those. Top just a little bit of cheese. Yeah. All the cheese. Top with a little bit of cheese. There we have our mushroom pasta. <laughs>